Bonjour. So today there's no real lesson to speak of. Um, it's just a reminder to turn in your aperçu culturel. Uh, so again, you're going to turn it in here. We're on Canvas on the right website. Okay, distance learning resources. And then you're going to submit the assignment. And so you're going to have to pick a type of file. Uh, maybe it's a PDF, maybe it's a um, video, I don't know, uh, and then submit assignment. If it's a video and it's a really, really big file, so like right up here, you can upload it to your uh, Google Drive through your Verona Area High School email account, and then click share, and then click the share URL, and then put it in here. You can even leave me a comment, okay? So again, uh, it's due tomorrow, Friday, uh, before 11.59 p.m.-ish. Again, this is kind of a loose deadline, but do try to get it in. Um, for grading, uh, again, I want to keep grading simple. Uh, if you complete it and turn it in roughly on time and you've got all the different details that I've asked for, 30 out of 30, boom, easy. Uh, but there are a few things to remember, okay? Uh, so if you go to the instructions, you can also find these on Canvas. Uh, make sure that you have shared some basic information about the country. So you can use this as kind of a checklist. And then find at least three examples of the culture. So maybe you're focusing on housing. So three examples of the type of housing that people, people use. Okay. And then next on the checklist would be a comparison. So how does this culture in this country compare to the one that you're most familiar with? So maybe you picked sports, right? And so you could say, oh, well, you know, these sports are popular in this country, but in the country where I'm from, you know, in the US, for example, uh, this is the norm. So what differences do you know, notice? Give at least three specific examples. And then make sure you have about two texts. So maybe these are websites, um, not including Wikipedia, and two videos that you found, probably on YouTube. Uh, and then give me those texts, give me those resources. And then in French, you want to put together that presentation. Once you've got all those boxes checked, uh, put together a presentation where you present the information you found. And here you have a lot of freedom, remember? You could do a Google Slides presentation if that works best for you. Maybe you've been working on a video. Great. Maybe you've been writing a blog entry in French or a travel blog or something in French or something else. Um, so if you're doing something written or like a Google Slides presentation, make sure to include a portion where you're speaking French, so a recorded portion. Um, if you're making a video, on the other hand, make sure to include a brief written paragraph to accompany it. Okay. I want to just be able to see that you've practiced this vocabulary and the grammar from this previous unit in talking about this thing that you've learned. So yeah, so if you've checked all those boxes and you turn it in roughly on time, 30 out of 30. Uh, but again, make sure you put together that checklist for yourself. And that's it. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you all when we next convene. Au revoir.